Welcome, and this is a short update for our individuals who are involved in what's known as the DAP program, the DAP program. This is the debt acknowledgement program. So many people have spent so much time arguing, I don't owe that money, I, you can't prove that. Stop with all of that, accept the debt, acknowledge the debt. The debt does exist, so acknowledge it. Ladies and gentlemen, not only are we going to acknowledge the debt, but we're going to help the financial institution do their job. So, for those of you who are DAP people, we're going to need certain information from you. You're going to be receiving a letter shortly telling you the information we're going to need. What I do need to do is I need to point out something to you to let you know the foundation and significance of the program. No one has done this before. It's taken us a little while to put things together, but we finally have things where they need to be. You will be receiving the information soon. Please stay tuned. You're also going to be receiving a copy of this particular communication with the DAP program. I want you to listen to a conversation that I have ChatGPT responding to. I just put the information in, and basically it's going to tell you what the law says. I didn't tell it what I thought. I told it exactly what the law says. So give it one second. I don't want to hit that button. I want to hit this button. Behind labeling instruments such as notes, drafts, bills of exchange, and bankers' acceptances is government obligations backed by the full faith and credit of the United States, as described in the Federal Reserve Act, can be explained in simpler terms as follows. Redefining goal. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, who said that notes, drafts, bills of exchange, Bankers' acceptances were government obligations. Well, let's prove this. We can't just be saying it. This is taken directly from the law. The last section of the bill provides for the issuance of a new money. To understand just how this new money is to be handled, I refer to Section 401. Under the Federal Reserve Act, obligations that are deposited as the security and gold for reserve notes are placed into the hands of the Federal Reserve agent. This provision is for the issuance of Federal Reserve notes and the security or obligations back of it is the obligations, notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers' acceptances as outlined in the section. Congress said there were obligations of the United States. I didn't say that. Hold on. I got to give him the continue. I apologize. That's what happens when I stop The him. congressional intent behind labeling instruments such as notes, drafts, bills of exchange, and bankers' acceptances is government obligations, backed by the full faith and credit of the United States, as described in the Federal Reserve Act, can be explained in simpler terms as follows. Redefining gold backing, traditionally, the value of currency and financial instruments was often backed by physical commodities like gold. However, during the economic challenges of the early 20th century, particularly around the time of the Great Depression, there was a need to shift from a gold standard-based system to a more flexible and robust economic structure. Government obligations as new backing, by categorizing certain financial instruments like notes, drafts, bills of exchange, and bankers' acceptances as government obligations, Congress intended to use the creditworthiness and stability of the U.S. government as the new backing for these instruments, rather than gold. This meant that the value and trust in these instruments were now based on the government's ability to meet its financial commitments, rather than on a physical gold reserve. Enhancing economic stability, this shift was aimed at enhancing the stability and flexibility of the U.S. financial system. By backing these instruments with the government's full faith and credit, it allowed for more liquidity and stability in the financial market, particularly during times of economic stress. Issuance of Federal Reserve Notes The Federal Reserve Act allowed for Federal Reserve Notes to be issued based on the security of these government obligations. This meant that the Federal Reserve Banks could issue currency, Federal Reserve Notes, that were backed not by gold, but by these varied financial instruments, which were in turn backed by the government's promise. Broader economic implications, this policy change was significant as it marked a departure from the gold standard and signaled a new era in monetary policy, where the value of the currency was largely influenced by the government's fiscal and monetary policy, rather than by gold reserves. In essence, the Congress... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, basically what this is saying is the same thing as you guys read into the new act. Sorry, it is not ready. Give me one second to pull it back up so that you can... I apologize. It says under the new law, the new money, because it's a new law, is issued to the banks in return for government obligations, bills of exchange, drafts, notes, trade acceptances, bankers' acceptances. These are all government obligations, ladies and gentlemen. 
the money will be worth 100 cents on a dollar because it is backed by the credit of the nation. I didn't tell it that. It got that from what I inserted, that it was backed by the credit of the nation, that it was backed by the United States government, that they were United States government obligations. This is what you all need to be understanding. So the program is designed for you to just simply acknowledge the debt. There is no money. The new money is your promissory note. Well, we don't need to argue that because that's already the law. They should already know this. We're not going to argue that, but we're going to use the law to offset the debt and then provide you proof showing that the debt has been offset. And if anybody's got any question, then you will have the proof what government agencies, government obligations showing that the debt has been satisfied. So ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned. You have updates coming your way. We'll be speaking with you soon. Once again, Eon Foundation.